Welcome back to House of Slug. It's me, Ko. And today, we're just doing a real big thrift haul with all of these, all of this, and all of this. And this, and this, and this. If you don't know, I started a plus size vintage shop. It's not online. I've just been doing markets and stuff like that to kind of work my way up. So I've had some markets, things went well, and I needed to restock. So this week I hit up several thrift stores. I didn't have time to film, but we're, we're just gonna look at what I got. So let's just get right into it. Like 98% of them are vintage. And then the others are just things I bought for myself that aren't vintage. Although I will say parting with some of these is going to be quite difficult. But I wanna share the love. I don't wanna hoard everything. And a lot of it doesn't really fit, you know what I mean? I wanna take you outside. I hope that's okay. I just really need to be outside today. Do you guys know what I mean? So actually, I got this butterfly top and this like crushed velvet top and this crazy little necklace. It's double-sided. And this was just for myself and I'm, I'm loving it. So we're gonna look at all this stuff. I'm gonna try on the stuff that fits me and then I'll, you know, just hold up the other stuff. Okay, so I actually can't go outside because my neighbor's dogs are losing it out there. So we're staying inside. Slugs, I did not unlock my iPhone. So for some of this video or a lot of it, my microphone isn't working, so my apologies. I hope that's okay. Thank you for understanding. You're the best slugs. Okay, if you hear dogs barking, it's really my apologies. My neighbor's dogs don't ever shut up. Okay, enough apologies. Here is the first thing, and this I just bought for myself. And then I washed it and it shrank. So it technically doesn't button, but I'm liking wearing it with just the top button open, um, buttoned and then the rest open. And it's very cute. It's like kind of a tiger print. It's probably it maybe like 15 years old or something. I don't, which that's not vintage, you know, 20 years. So it's like older, but not like vintage. This next one is a 90s black crop top that is see-through and is floral and it's like scoop neck. It's very cute. I love it. So I have on a tank top underneath so you can't tell the see-through but it's so cute. I want to keep it but I already have something like this, so. So this one is a tapestry vest with little postage stamps all over it. It's these little pockets. is so cute. I am having a hard time wanting to part with it, but it's really not my style. When do you ever come across a 3X cutie patootie like this, you know? I'm obsessed with these little pockets. All I want to do is get one of those clocks on the chain 
Oh my God. Oh my God. This one is so special. I love this one. Ooh. I have another vest. It's like a knit vest with these very cute little flowers. It has little flower buttons. And it's a 3X. And it is absolutely adorable. It's scalloped on the sleeves. Oh, it's like trans colors. What? How cute. Ah, oh, this one is so precious. I'm so excited for whoever gets this one. It's very good. Okay, if you know me, you know that funky button downs are my calling. I love a funky button down. So I have this one and the next one, and they are both the same brand called CM Shapes. They're both a 3X. And this one has this really great, like, abstract situation. The buttons are really cute. I, like I said, it's going to be hard to let go of these because I think they are so cute. This one especially, like, it'd be cute tied up, be cute with a French tuck. It's just cute. It's just stinking cute. Bottom line. Okay, here is the second button down that's that same brand, CM Shapes. I'm obsessed with this one. Okay, it has these like abstract flowers on a grid print on both sleeves and then down the front and then the back and there's like a black panel here and black and then the back is black. And wow, and it has the same buttons as the last one. Just little cutie buttons. Wowie, I love this one. It feels like uh, such a good spring goth top. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> that is just something that I kind of look for, like a black top with a pop of color or either like a button down that is just a pop of color in itself and then I wear it with all black. That was just like one of my favorite things to do. So yes, here is this one. Okay, this little pink cropped blazer. It doesn't like, I, I, it goes on my body, but like it's one of those, I can't move my arms situations. But if this fit me, it would be over for you bitches, okay? But luckily it doesn't. It is so cute. I am beyond obsessed with it. I like the buttons. They have like a little bejeweled moment in the middle. And there's like some buttons on the sleeves. Oh, when I tell you I love this, I just do. Whoever gets this, man, I'm jealous of you. Just know that. This tapestry jacket, again, doesn't actually fit me, but I'm putting it on so you can kind of see it. Very cute, like a leopard, zebra, tapestry jacket, crop. Pockets? What more could you want? God. And again, if this jacket fit me, it would be over for you bitches. But it doesn't. So you're in luck. Again. You know what I mean? Wow. Oh, I love this one. It's so good. It's like a size extra large, so <laughs> I can move my arms in it, but you know, 
that's okay. Someone will love this, I'm sure. That board had a lot to tell you, apparently. <laughs> okay, this next one, you know it, another funky button down. Hello. This one is super cool. I love it. It has marigolds on it and it says marigold. Then it has like some little poetry that I'm unable to read at the moment. And it's kind of a checkered pattern, like, which I love. And the button, like when you button it up, it covers the buttons. And it has like this very cute cloth button at the very top. Another banger, if I do say so myself. This one is actually a dress, but it doesn't fit me. So it just looks like a jacket but it's like one of those dresses that buttons like a blazer. It's like a blazer dress and it's glittery. See the shimmer? Oh, so it would button and have like the two buttons. And this button has the same little bejeweled moment like that other button earlier. Oh, so I mean, if you're my size, you could just wear it like a long jacket. I think it's giving for a long jacket, but I'm sure as a dress, oh yes, as a dress, very, very gorgeous. So here you can see how glittery and spectacular. This one is a velvet set, it's burgundy. It doesn't fit me, so you know, bear with me, but it is super cute. Has like the collar, it's long sleeve button down, and then just stretchy velvet pants. And you know, I love, I love a velvet set, of course. If you didn't see my thrift flip, I, thrifted a velvet set in my size and then I did some block printing on it and I put some little stones. It's like a moon and star kind of situation. And I really want to do that with this set as well, but I want to do something different. I was thinking maybe something like on the elbows and the knees. I was thinking it would be really cute to do like a broken heart, like on each of the knees and the elbows. Even if I don't do anything to it, it is adorable, but I'm really... I want to start block printing velvet and that being my thing. This next one does not fit me in any way, shape or form. It is so cute. It's purple. It's like a deep purple, like faux suede. And it has this like little buckle. Ah, oh, I love this one. It is so cute. I wish that it fit me. Although, you know, I haven't really been into dresses lately. Not that I'm opposed to dresses. I've just changed so much in the past year. My style and everything. But this, oh, very cute, very timeless. It's gonna be adorable on somebody. So much like those two button downs, I found two similar dresses of the same brand. So this is the same brand as the purple one and it has this very cute zipper and these little like buckles on each side. And it is a size 28 vintage. Wow, I love that. You know, I'm trying so hard to find the biggest sizes that I possibly can and that's so important to me. And um you know, I do pretty good with it where I live. And like these dresses came from the Goodwill. And like where I live, the Goodwills have really good plus size sections, like big plus size sections. And, but sometimes, you know, if I go out of town, like if I go to North Carolina, I live in Virginia, 
Tennessee, basically. But I'm also very close to North Carolina. So when I go to North Carolina, most things, most Goodwill, sorry, don't have a plus size section. They're like, it's marked extra large and it'll just be shoved in there. And I'm like, why? And Goodwill is a little more expensive, but I mean, it's worth it to me to pay a little bit extra if I can find like a size 28. Like, and this dress is so cute. So I'm just excited for this find. This was a really good find. Okay, this one also doesn't fit me, but is spectacular. Um, it's like a black denim maxi, has buttons all the way down and they are functioning buttons. It's that really cute Peachy Plus brand, if you know, you know. And my God, I love this so much. I'm like so tempted to block print on it, but it's so special. I think someone would really like it as is. If this fit me, again, it would be over for you bitches. But luckily, it doesn't, and I'm cool with that. I love it. It has these little pockets up here, and then pockets down here. And how cute would it be to like print on each something on each of the pockets, right? Like, oh, I'm so tempted, but I'm gonna leave it alone. You guys, this just like popped out of nowhere when I was leaving the thrift store. I just saw the zipper and for some reason I was like I'm gonna look at that and I am glad I did it is a vintage plus size bathing suit that's a romper with this cutie starfish and it's like that good texture I mean like me in my 20s I would have shit myself when I found this and I kind of did, like, I love this. It's not like my style has changed. So it's not really like my beach or swim style anymore, but I know that it's for somebody. And oh my God, I love it. It is so cute. And it's in really good condition to be swimwear. Like, uh, uh. we have this little robe moment. I love a little robe moment. I like to wear it just with an outfit out of the house. I know some people frown upon that, but I'm always buying vintage robes or vintage night shirts, like silk ones or shiny, not necessarily silk, but I'm wearing them like just with all black like this. I mean, I love that. This one has like this very colorful lace. And it has roses all over it. Oh, and it still has the tie, which for me, it's, you know, this is not a plus, it's not a plus size thing. But the cool thing about robes is that they're usually oversized for, oversized for, you know, the thins. So I can get it, take this off and then wear it like, kind of kimono-y style, um, which, you know, you don't have to do, but it's just like an option if you're fat and you want to wear really pretty robes and you can just wear them like with an outfit. That's not how I do it. Cause I could never wear this as a robe. Like it's not going to cover, it's not going to cover my bits. So just make it, you know, you can make something, whatever you want it to be. It doesn't have to be just a robe that you wear around the house. You know, have fun with things. Oh, that lace. It's so cute. I love all this stuff so much, which of course, that's why I buy it. I try to curate really cute things that I like. So it's hard to go. Uh, it's hard to let them go, but I must, I must let them go. This velvet house coat is beyond. I am obsessed with it. It has roses on it. Again, this is something that I would wear out of the house. Like I realize that it's intimate, robes, whatever, but no, this needs to be out in the world. It needs to be seen. It is very cute. 
letting go of this and it has pockets okay and it zips it zips all the way up the front but it just looks so cute and it's so long i'm quite tall i'm like five eight it's a size one x but it is a very generous one x let me tell you oh it's so gorgeous And then I only found three bottoms, which, you know, vintage plus size bottoms are, they can be hard to find. Like, let's be real. So I'm happy I found these three things at least. So this skirt, it's like pleated midi skirt. And it has this very cute, fun, colorful pattern. Kind of clowny in my opinion. We know I'm into that. And the pleats are so cute and it's kind of a dropped waist, but not like super dropped. I hate when they're like dropped down to there. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, maybe somebody likes it, but I don't want those. This one is like in a good spot. It could be whatever you dream up. Sure. So that's very fun. And I'm excited about it. Okay. We've got Whimsy Goth on lockdown. I saw this skirt and then I left it. And then the next time I came back, it was still there. And I didn't buy it because it's from Kato. But early 2000s Kato for plus size is honestly really good. I mean, you know, Kato, I could take it or leave it. But you know, in like 2005, 2006, when I moved to the middle of nowhere, Kato was like one of my only options. So I did fuck with Kato for a while. And so when I went back and it was still there, I was like, okay, I have to buy this. It is kind of like tapestry, but not as thick. And then it has these very cute little doodads on the bottom and a little slit in the back. You know we love a little slit. It doesn't fit me, so I can't try it on for you. I love a whimsy goth moment. You know, occasionally I'm like, should I be whimsy goth? I don't know. I mean, I, I guess I could be if I wanted. I, I don't know. I am what I am. Anyway, here's the skirt. It has like kind of a different pattern at the bottom. Um, is that paisley? I think that's paisley. But it is like a very cute purple black paisley. Okay, okay. Okay, hear me out on these pants. They're just super cute pants and the tag says magic potion. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get this. Somebody will love these. I like the colors. It's kind of like, uh, what is it, olive green? And they're cute. They don't fit me, so I can't try them on. They like don't have stretch and I think they're linen. They don't have stretch. And so like, I can't get them all the way up, but they're so cute. They have like this little black line around the bottom. Someone will look very cute in these. So I got them. Like I said, don't question me. The last three clothing items are from the men's section, which I don't try to gender clothes, but they are gendered, so what can I do? I live in this world, so I have to deal with it. So you're thinking, why did you buy a typical red flannel? Well, friends, because it's vintage L.L. Bean, and no one ever has worn it, and it is such good quality. It's an extra large. So it doesn't like exactly fit me. So of course I'm gonna sell it. Um, but it is very nice. Like, it must have just been in somebody's closet for like their whole life. I don't know, maybe it wasn't their size or something. You never know. So this is a good one. I'm trying, you know, I like to have, a, you know, I wanna have as many options 
for everybody is possible. You know, I want to have more like masculine options. So I found the old man shirt of everyone's dreams. Uh, who isn't going to love this? This, look at this. It, it's covered in speckles, first of all. And it has like this detail, and this little pocket for your old man cigarellos. What? And the, the collar, it's like that, it has that thing sewn in to make it extra pointy and stiff. Oh, oh, I love it. And it has like a line down the side. It's an extra large, so it's kind of tight on me, so I rolled it up. It has um, like the ribbing at the bottom. I wish it fit me better, but I'm glad it doesn't because some cool ass person is going to get this and really wear the shit out of it. And I'm excited for whoever they are. This baby blue old man jacket. Hello. This is so good. I love this. I love the like collar, the little snap button. And it has the snap buttons on the bottom. Oh my God. We love, I love, I'm obsessed. It is in very good condition. And it's a men's 2X. I mean, that's like hard to find. I don't find vintage men's 2X stuff often. Last, but certainly not least, is this amazing trench coat that I found. And no, I cannot sell this. I have been looking for the perfect black trench coat for myself for years. And here it is. Here it is. I finally found it. It's a vintage men's London fog trench coat sent down straight from heaven, straight to me. And uh, honey, I, I can't even tell you how excited I am. I love this. I am obsessed with this. This is everything. And I didn't even know Oh my God. I don't think I put my hands in the pockets before. Oh no, there's a button. So potentially a button missing. Oh my God. Okay, so, I mean, this shit makes sense. This was probably a drug dealer's jacket. Oh my God. Ooh. Ooh. I gotta go throw this away. Um. Yeah, no, I haven't washed this one because it's dry clean only. So I got to figure that out. Especially after the little baggie. Ooh, I'm just excited. It is lightweight. It's London fog. It's vintage. It's a men's 3X. I'm just very happy for my, you know, my, my moment has finally come. You bitches better watch out. Well, slugs, that was the haul. Thank you for joining me on this journey. And you know the drill. If you made it to the end of a video, you're an official slug. So you might as well subscribe, be a part of the slug community. If you subscribe, comment, let me know what your favorite thing you thrifted recently was. I'd love to hear about it. And um, if you're feeling froggy, you can like this video and that would help me ever so greatly. May the thrift gods bless all of my slugs. And I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you later. Bye slug.